I mean, there's very few things that are more frustrating than that. Welcome back to Cruising as Crew. I'm Lucy and today I'm going to be giving you some tips on how to do your laundry on board a cruise ship. But before we get started, I just want to remind you to like and subscribe if you want some more cruise ship content. And if you follow me over on Instagram at Cruising as Crew, then you can let me know what topic you want me to cover next. But as for now, let's get into it. I know, right? Laundry it is the most boring thing in the world, but it is something that needs doing. And if you do it wrong on board a cruise ship, it can turn into the most stressful, time-consuming black hole in your life. So today I'm going to be giving you some tips uh, to avoid that because you already have a limited amount of time as it is. So this is how to have the most productive laundry day. Okay, number one, it is all about timing. I cannot stress this enough. So although like there are so many different departments on board cruise ships and everyone has different like um, starting times and finishing times, there are certain times where the laundry room is really busy because everyone has decided they want to do their laundry then and there's also really like quiet times and unfortunately I can't give you these times because they vary from ship to ship so the first thing or one of the first things you need to do when you get on board is suss out when the rush hour is for laundry and when the quiet times are because you do not want to be doing your laundry at rush hour still to do with timing um Basically, you need to make sure that you are kind of with your laundry when it finishes. So how it works, everyone wants to get their laundry done, okay? So if you've put your laundry in the washer and someone else comes in like a few minutes before yours finishes, they will wait till yours finishes and they will put yours in the dryer and put theirs in, okay? And then same with the dryer. If they come in and they see that your um, clothes are like a few minutes away from finishing drying, they will take them out of the dryer and just dump them somewhere and put theirs in the dryer. So first off, if you want to avoid people rummaging through your stuff, then you need to make sure that you are in the laundry room when your wash cycle finishes and when your drying cycle finishes. Very, very important. And also, not so much with the wash, but with the dry, I would always recommend checking it halfway through because there are some really like, there are some assholes on board who are so desperate to get their stuff dry that they will take your stuff out the dryer even if it's still pretty damp and they'll just put their stuff in. So I always check that my stuff is still in the dryer just in case someone has taken it out. It doesn't happen very often, um, but like if you've left your stuff for like an hour and a half and you're like, oh yeah, like it'll be dry and you come back to find out that actually it was taken out the dryer like 15 minutes into the, its drying cycle. I mean, there's very few things that are more frustrating than that. Number three, so there will be times where you won't be able to get to the laundry room right as your stuff uh, finishes their cycle, its cycle. So what I would recommend is getting a little like a net bag and you can get them from like the pound shop or probably even cheaper than that. But basically they're to put your underwear in and your socks and stuff so that if um, you don't get there on time and someone does kind of grab your stuff and either put it in the dryer or take it out the dryer, they're not like touching your pants and stuff because that's, that's never nice. Um, and also it stops stuff getting lost and it also, like the washing machines are not really made for delicate items, so they do tend to rip your underwear to shreds. So this net bag just protects them a little bit more. Uh, don't have a see-through laundry bag, okay? So I've, you know, seen people before and they get like these net laundry bags or see-through laundry bags. And then like when you're taking your laundry from your cabin to the laundry room, everyone can see your dirty laundry. So I would just recommend getting a, a laundry bag that isn't see-through and also not a structured one. Like literally just go to the works or the pound shop and get a bag. You could even use like um, one of those bags for life from a supermarket like they're just as good use that as your laundry bag it depends how bougie you want to be with your laundry bag choices when it comes to you buying your washing powder or your washing detergent um the cruise line very rarely provides that for you so you will have to get your own 
don't buy the aerial pods just buy a big pot of softener and a big pot of detergent whether it's liquid or powder whatever you want uh, because it's it's a lot cheaper it works out a hell of a lot cheaper and it's better for the environment um i bought aerial pods on my first ship and when i worked out how much i'd spent on aerial pods i was not happy so now i just buy a big pot of softener and a big pot of detergent and that will actually last me most of my contract um, so as I said, it's very important to try and get to the laundry room as your stuff finishes because especially with um, Like the dryer. So if your stuff finishes and you're not there The likelihood is people will take it out the dryer and just kind of dump it somewhere and then you have to iron Because obviously people don't very very rarely do people take the time to fold your stuff um, So then all your stuff will be kind of scrumpled up and dumped somewhere and it will be all wrinkly Whereas if you get to the laundry room just as your stuff is about to come out the dryer You can take it straight out the dryer and fold it or hang it up and then you don't have to iron And I will do anything to avoid ironing so that's probably the best tip I can give you if you're pressed for time and you really need to get your stuff washed, please don't be one of those tramps that takes other people's washing out half, like when it's half done, it's just not cool. And karma's a bitch, so. There are two things you can do. So number one, you can wash in work time. Now this is not ideal and this is only, you know, to do if you're really, really pushed for time, really desperate, um, but put your stuff in before you start your shift. And then like whenever your cycle finishes, you just say, oh, I'm just gonna nip to the toilet. I'm just gonna go for a cigarette if you smoke. Obviously don't say that if you don't smoke. People have done that before and it's like, you may as well just say you're gonna go and get your laundry. Anyway, um, just make up some excuse to nip out for a few minutes um, and go and put your laundry in the dryer or better yet, if it's in the dryer, nip out for a few minutes and take your laundry from the dryer to your cabin and you can sort it out when you finish your shift. Number two, you can use the passenger laundry room. Now, as I said, this one really is only if you are like really, really stumped. Um, it is definitely not something to make a habit out of. And also this completely depends on how strict your ship is. Like I've been on strict ships and I've been on very relaxed ships. So you will have to work that out for yourself. Like if I get caught, how much trouble am I gonna get in? If it's not much, then, you know, it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission. So, uh, you know, sneak in, put your washing in, and, um, you know, use it. Because normally, like, unless it's the last sea day just before the passengers get off, um, the, the passenger laundry rooms aren't busy. So, you know, why not? If no one's using it, use it. However, something to say is, a lot of passengers know that crew members have their own laundry room and passengers have their own laundry room. So if you are going to use a passenger laundry room, don't go in your uniform. <laughs> because if you go in just normal clothes and you see a passenger in there, they will just assume that you are an another passenger and they won't say anything. If they see that a crew member is using a passenger laundry room, then they'll probably say something and you'll get in trouble. So if you're gonna use the passenger laundry room, don't wear your uniform. Okay, so those are my tips on how to do laundry successfully. Um, I really hope these help. Please let me know in the comments if they do help and you have a successful laundry experience. Um, as I said, I know it's boring, but it's something that needs to be done. And I just thought I would shed some light on doing laundry on a cruise ship. Um, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.